Hey, what's up, YouTube? <clears throat> Another video coming at you now. Mm. So tomorrow, James Munder is supposed to get out of jail. And um, I don't want anybody like trying to keep me up late at night because I got to be like places to get money and do things. So there won't be any late night, you know, shenanigans going on. Uh, you know, the whole getting your shit together thing. Um, stayed up a little later than I should have last night. Trying to find Newberry's channel on YouTube here. I don't know, buddy, but if you told me what it was last night, I didn't catch it. So maybe you can drop it under this video or whatever. He just kept telling me, oh, how he's like shadow banned and whatever. Yeah, like we know. <clears throat> a lot of, all, all of us that uh, speak the facts are shadow banned on here about what's going on. But, um, I had a long discussion last night. With uh, people, family. Everybody makes mistakes, man. But, um... It seems like at the critical moment, we always forget who has all the power because we end up feeling so run down and there's a whole thing going on. There's a whole sauce can that, that, the, that the New World Order opened up about uh, women in the workplace and it's you know, it's it, it, when I say sauce can I mean propaganda. It's a propaganda war against anybody that wants to form a family and like have children and get married and be successful. There's like a propaganda war against it. So. Like, um, girls seem to have this thing about having guy friends. Here's the thing, ladies. Some guys, it's rare. I know maybe one guy, two guys, maybe, who are, who, um, pre-relegate themselves to the realm of like brother or friend or whatever. But most guys, when you tell them they want to, like, you want to be, like, friends or whatever, like me, um, I picked one girl, right? So everybody else is sister, buddy, friend, whatever. Um, and that's just how I am. But I don't know. It, 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 it's, and, and then there's the whole thing of um, the tradition of, you know, when, when you get married, the two are one flesh. One flesh. It means um, you operate in two bodies now. So there's a there's a constant feedback loop there. Um, the boundaries that you had uh, while while you were dating and whatever, all that time that you spent dating was to get more comfortable with each other, so you could let down those walls, let down those boundaries, because all that time was spent seeing if you could really trust that person. So that you could let those boundaries and those walls down to be vulnerable. Right? 
you know, building relationships, seeing if you can trust someone. Now, I say, um, say two people are married or they're dating and they're far along dating and the chick comes home and is like, oh, like I met a friend at school today, blah, 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 school, a friend at work today, blah, 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 I'm going to go clean his house or like do something with the, 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 and the guy, knowing how guys think, knowing that guys will be like, okay, I just want to be friends, but you know, like they'll tell the girl that for now. But what they're really doing is they, they, they use that as a springboard to build the relationship. And if, you know, if they're interested, whatever, because, you know, that, that can always change. Things can always change. You can go from being a friend to being, you know, a lover. Now, most guys don't give a flying fuck if a girl has a boyfriend or not. They're going to, they're going to, they're, they're, they're going to try and smash. Right now, uh, the girl can, it's weird. Like with me, my mother had this friend, Billy, right? Always had a crush on her. And no matter what she said or did, he was always trying to smash. Rejection didn't really affect uh, him pursuing her as a married woman. Um, women do things that they think are, are innocent. But I'm not going to just say it's women. Um, but it's important because... Uh, men have a detachment. Males have a detachment. Um, and from what I see, most women don't have that detachment. When they are picking between guys, they're looking for the most emotional attachment. Now, this can happen before or after... They've already made a choice of which guy they want to settle on. I'm not saying this is all women that do this. I'm saying it happens. All right. So their mind, for, for some of them, it's, it's like they chose the chocolate chip cookie. But now they're halfway through eating it, and now they want a, a macadamia cookie. You know? So what they'll do is they'll tell the chocolate chip cookie not to worry, right? And sometimes, you know, there. But it's not every woman is, like, the same, you know? It's, um, it's a little hairy. And then, like... They'll like, even though what they're doing is uh, making the husband or the longtime boyfriend feel like, hmm, this is like making me feel some type of weird. Um, and she's hiding things. Um, she has all these secret text messages. She's checking up on other guys to see if they're okay and letting them know that she's okay. But she's not letting you know. Right? Like, there comes, like, a point with some girls who've already made a choice what man they want. Well, they'll start to shift and push this guy out of the way. It's called leading the guy on. They led the guy on all this time. The guy thinks that, oh, we're like friends and we're like 
lovers and da, 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 and like we love each other but the guy's really more invested than she is and i've seen this to where they're married they have kids she doesn't care she is um detached from how her actions are affecting her husband her children and she'll she'll go so far as to as to get her way she'll maybe try to keep the children from the father or um talk bad about them talk bad about the father to the children and it's um it's a continuation of one the propaganda that is pumped into the societal mainframe it's like um you don't need to be the cornerstone of a house and take up the responsibility of raising your children raising the next generation um in a family environment it's to where the propaganda has pushed them that being a wife and mother is not a worthy ambition anymore for some um i'm gonna say a lot to where now the focus is on the woman becoming like a man. The woman becoming the provider and uh, the protector and all those things. Now, there is a role, I believe, for the woman as a protector. Um, just like there's a role as a man for a protector. But there's certain things that a woman's body is made for. Um, her first and foremost goal is to like protect her children, right? And um, be a companion, a help. And that's the same thing really that a man is. He's really a protector and a companion and a help. But the man's body is more designed for war. He doesn't have the well. He doesn't have the glaring vulnerability of getting punched in the titty. Okay, we have our own vulnerabilities. And there is the calculating uh, warrior mindset that w women have very well, uh, just like men. But men still don't have boobs. Men don't um, have that responsibility. It's rare. Some men do, actually. Have that thing where they uh, are like the main custodians of the children. But it's gotten to the point where the woman will have all these guy friends. And she'll be hiding text messages from her husband. And the husband will be like, hey, like, um, you're hiding things from me. We have kids. We're married. What are you doing? And the woman will be like, I don't give a shit. Uh, fuck you. Uh, I don't need to give you no explanations. Um, and she'll just become a disgusting person. And at that point, you know... And I feel like men do love harder. Uh, they, 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 uh, at least the ones that think about the family and whatever. I, I'm seeing more examples of men being the ones who don't quit. And women being the ones who look for like breaks or breakups. Or like you can tell them, hey, like I want a break. Like I, I want like a four month break because I don't feel appreciated. And um, 
because it's been a long time and the guy starts to feel run down. Right? Like, even though he's faithful um, and he's focused on this one chick, it'll be like, it's been a long time. And I'm feeling run down because I'm not getting the the level of affection that I need, that I want, that I deserve. And at one point, that that level was there. Everything was good. Now, it ha it happens that something happens along the way. And it seems like they hold a grudge. Or there's a lack of self-awareness on the guy's part. Uh, but when he goes to ask, he's like, hey, like, something's wrong here. Like, I'm, 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 I'm sensing, like, disturbances in the force and whatever. And... But then it, there's, there's still that, that thing where she doesn't really respond. She just goes into her own world. And you can try to do this and that and whatever, but it's going to reach a point where eventually you're devoting so much time to figuring out what the hell is wrong and you'll be like making penance. But it'll still get to the point where she's like, okay, like I can't like do this or whatever, like, and then she'll find some way to conflate a break, like a four month break. You have to be very careful about how you word it. You have to be very careful about how you approach it, because if you're not careful, she'll take, I need a break. As you want to break up. Um, and. If you want to avoid that hurt. You want to be very careful about how you approach that. Um. You want to be very careful that you don't let your emotions, um, s like, sp just fly out of you. Um, because even though you feel run down, even though you feel like you've been trying and nothing that you're trying is working, she could still take that hurt um, feeling of what the hell is going on here why are you not responding to anything that I'm doing and she'll be like oh like I can't take this I need like uh, like a breakup and whatever like and then she'll 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 be like okay she'll fix it in her head so that it's like oh you asked for a breakup because of how you did it and even though that's not what you actually were thinking in your head, like or, or like what came out of your mouth, the way that you said it will set you up, as it were. Um, especially with the culture and the, the topsy-turvy way that the propaganda, that, that the workplace propaganda um, that's been pumped into this country to destroy it. That's what we've come to. To where a chick just doesn't have. A provider and protector. She has all these friends. That are giving her like money or whatever. And <laughs> that that's not really you know like whatever. But it's still like, that's the role of the husband and the father, like when you're dating. I, I don't know, it's weird. Um, 
Like, we, we live in a big world. I have nothing against, like, she has friends that send her money and whatever. Um, but when you get with someone, their friends, because you become, like, your 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 lives mesh now because you're together say you've been together for a long time so because you trust her right because she chose you so her friends would also now be your friends and vice versa so there's this thing where a woman will have friends and she'll always leave the husband at home to go to her friends and that's going to build insecurity um chicks should know this or maybe they do and they just don't give a shit which is not okay it's very disrespectful if you have a friend ladies you should be able to say to your husband or your longtime boyfriend who you've been with for this long because apparently you love him. Apparently. Um, there should be like an instance where you say to your friend, I'm not going to come. I'm going to send my husband or my mate instead. And he's going to help you. He's, he's going to help me help you. Um, instead of me always being the one to go over there and do this and help you with this. Um, and it should be the other way around too. You know, guys that have female friends. Um, sometimes you don't want to go yourself. Sometimes you want to send your girlfriend to be like, can you do me a favor and help this friend, whatever. Make them feel involved. It will build your relationship into something where there's more trust. Okay? Um, because the only other way, the, the only way that things can go if you don't do that is there's going to be jealousy. There's going to be problems. Um... There's going to be that that critical mass where you're always leaving the other at home or doing their own thing and not involving them with your friends and your life to where you have this attitude of they're my friends and uh, you have your own friends. Go be with your own friends. No. This creates big problems. This breaks up couples. This breaks up families. At the very least, you should be able to, if you want to go with your friends, bring your uh, other along. You know, if you're a guy, bring your girlfriend along, vice versa. Or just send them to help your friends. And you should be being sent also to help the other's friends. There's a, um, there's a, there's a, an unnaturalness to the having of secrets and the, the um, cordoning off of one person who's in a relationship um, from the friends that they have. It's it's a part of this new and I'm, I really feel like it's disgusting world. Uh, it's, it's a disgusting aspect of the world that we live in today because of the propaganda that we've been subjected to. All the things that make a relationship stronger are not in the best interests of these 
of one the public school system the the lgtpqprstuv the the, the agenda uh the common core the joe biden agenda things that create strong families are not in that agenda they are not healthy to that agenda they're only healthy to a traditionalist agenda of building strong families so think about this if you have friends and you're in a relationship send your other right think about that it'll kill the jealousy okay and not caring about the other person's uh, feelings about this um, it shows you have the mind of a five-year-old. If that's your mate and you don't care about what makes them jealous, it just goes to show you're not ready. You're not ready for it. Okay? You're not ready to be on that level, on that caliber. You're, you're, you, you still think you're in high school. Right? And it creates nothing but problems.